I think, uh, you know, the the um, any challenges that are faced in Herefordshire are very similar to challenges that are faced up and down the country. Um, People love their football. Football has such huge benefits, um, but unfortunately, so much of grassroots football does rely on the generosity of, of people. And um, you know, you hear lots of stories about, um, you know, someone who's volunteered for years and years who, who always covers fines, who always covers this, puts their hand in their pocket. And um, I think clubs are very much the central point of their communities. They've got loads of players, loads of parents, loads of volunteers, loads of people connected to the club. So. Um, you know, if you don't get yourself sorted as a club, you do just rely on that one person who's a local company who's going to give you money. And obviously, as we know, times have changed and, and there are financial challenges up and down the country at the minute. So, um, yeah, there are pressures as, as there are for everyone. They're really important. It's, uh, you know, absolutely crucial. Like I say, Football um, does such wonderful things for health, for community, you know, all of these different factors. And, and it's so important that clubs can become more self-sustainable um, so that they can carry on doing that good work. And you're not relying on that one person to put a load of money each, each year or, or that person who will always put their hand in their own pocket. I think from my point of view, um, anything that we can do um, to, to benefit the clubs, it is, that's what we're here for. So uh, we were contacted about it, looked into it, looked to looked of interest, looked good. Um, obviously, you had various discussions about how it how it would operate. Um, and it just seemed to make sense. You know, as I say, it was relatively straightforward from our point of view. Um, and the outcome was that clubs had an opportunity to generate income from, from themselves, which is very much what we're about. Yeah, I think like touch on what Alan's just said as well, I think what people don't realise as well, that this season is the first season in three years due to like current circumstances, that the whole season's run as a whole, that over the last two years, we've seen teams struggle, um, some teams have had to fold because like with COVID restrictions. So I think this was a real benefit as well to push and give them a bit of backing as well to fit, not only just to finish the season, but to build up. Like you've got new generations starting, that you've got new under eights, new under sevens. So it's a real good benefit of helping each team and teams within each clubs. I didn't expect that many. Like you've got a few teams in Herefordshire like with big followings and big clubs from like men's to under eights. So they they were they got involved, which was good. I think what was more pleasing as well that you saw the smaller clubs with not many not many teams but a really good following that support each other really took to it. From our point of view, operationally, it certainly wasn't anything that was was a huge burden. Um, we just had to provide the information that we've got we've got to to we've got available to us anyway. Um, we didn't take that long at all. Send it over, and that was you know one of the benefits for us was um, you guys just took on the majority of the kind of work setting it all up, and then our role was just promoting it. So promoting an opportunity for clubs to make money and someone to to win a big cash prize is, like George has said, a really a really easy win for us. Yeah, so play fund win really good, really proactive. That you've got all the materials out, social media usage. We sent emails out, sent uh, newsletters out. So like you had every every social media connection. It was really simple. Then the next process was the teams that got involved inside that communication channel got the imagery. Yeah, and like you say, um, you know, one thing that I really liked was that your breakdown of what you you were spending on your raffle ticket was really clear. So for your five pound that you were putting in. You knew that two pound fifty was going to your club. You knew that fifty p was going to here, and we could make it really clear that a percentage of that was going to our charity partner. As you say, there are new charity partner. Um, 
we uh, they're a lead naming rights partner for us and and part of uh, the reason they they wanted to get involved with us um, was to promote the excellent work that they do. Um, but obviously linked to that, any opportunities that we can do to generate income for them, happy days. So um, it was a really nice fit for us because it wasn't a case that, um, that the Herefordshire FA was making money from it. We were generating money for our charity partner, um, which was all laid out really clearly. Um, so no, that, that was a great part of it from our point of view anyway. Well, I think it just um, it makes everything easier. So lots of clubs do raffles. Um, lots of clubs will be doing sort of similar online ones. But but a lot of the raffles will rely on someone walking around selling tickets and selling books. And, and you know, clubs are so reliant on volunteers and volunteers do do such a fantastic role at the clubs as it is. So what I find quite often happens is a club will think, well, this is a great idea, but I can't ask that person to do one more thing because they're already doing a full time job and then they're doing 20 hours a week on football. So, yes, we'd love to do it, but we just can't facilitate it. So moving to to an online platform, it kind of removes all that headache. Um, And look, you know, 2022, people are engaging pretty much all the time online in the digital space. So people whatever age that may be now whatever generation are very comfortable spending money online um you know those sort of challenges of the past are are gone so i think it's so important that clubs embrace uh the digital age um and it just saves it saves asking another person to do something else because what what will happen is you will end up asking the same person who does everything already to do one more thing so it probably doesn't happen. So clubs are missing out on an opportunity. No, I would recommend it. I think it's gone down really well. I think the audience that it hit was better than expected. That it's not just one person winning. It's the clubs are getting money. It's touching not just one person, it's like touching communities. So it's helping the community as well. So it's real positive impact. And I can only see a benefit. Yeah, and I'd echo that based on the feedback that I've received from from clubs and our board and council members. Yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to, to recommend people to get involved. <laughs>